Good morning from Vietnam. Yeah, here we are, we're in Hanoi. We made it. So we're gonna go find some breakfast and... Some Vietnamese coffee. Some coffee. Yeah. We're having soup for breakfast, and this is what we got. We got the same thing. And I added some of these guys right there. Nice, really tasty, fresh sliced peppers. Really hot. Pretty good. Yeah, it tastes good. As you can tell, we finished our food. Well, almost. You gotta watch them Look at this gentleman. He just crossed the street with ease. No worries. <laughs> Thing the trick is, you just keep a steady pace. Do not stop once you start. Just keep it steady and keep going. Don't walk in front of We stop in this cafe, Jing Cafe. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but um, it's quite humid outside, and we're already sweaty from our walk. And Kyle got an iced coffee. Mm, that was good. Oh, I got myself uh, an iced mocha with coconut milk. <laughs> it's more like an ice cream than an yeah, iced mocha. Yeah, it's very smoothie like. It's a lot of honking. What's funny is at a stoplight, sometimes you'll see a bike coming up on the sidewalk. Like, that doesn't even stop us. What stoplight? <laughs> So 
sidewalks are kind of non-existent in some parts. It's, it's actually there, but bikes and cars are parked on it. So you kind of have to walk on this, well, not kind of, you, you end up walking on the streets, so you just have to keep your wits about you and yeah, stay alert. Okay, we're stopping by this uh, banh mi place called Banh Mi Saigon. And we got... What's that? We got uh, Saigon Banh Mi and uh, Egg Banh Mi. And they are right here. So we're going to try them out. See how they are. On our cute little <laughs> kitty chairs here. I'm sitting right next to the train tracks. It's right in front of us. So we'll see how close it gets to us when it actually gets here. It's supposedly friends are really well. It's gonna be here in about 30 minutes. And everybody's starting to come out. We got an egg coffee. We got it iced because it's really hot and we're very sticky right now. Yeah, it's almost we'll 90. See. It's almost 90 degrees and really humid right now. So let's stir it first. Try the custard first before you mix it in. That's good flavor. Oh, I know. Really strong. It almost tastes like kind of chocolatey. Uh, I want to try it. Yeah, we can. The dessert, so it's really rich. Yeah, it's it tastes more chocolatey, and honestly, it doesn't taste like egg at all. I was afraid it would have that egg uh, smell to it, but it doesn't. It's pretty good. a tuk-tuk back to our well close to where we're staying our airbnb they call this one a psycho because it's uh, a, a pedestrian uh, he's cycling a uh, rickshaw it's, it's called a, a cyclo it's quite a walk from where we live to here or where we're staying At least with this one, we get to enjoy the um, life on the streets at night, I guess. <laughs> yeah. We're not crossing traffic by ourselves. <laughs> Hi. 
for the call. Oh, this, he's got a little bit of an uphill right now, but we'll have a downhill later. Welcome back to Hanoi, and this is our room this time. This time around, we are in the uh, old quarter. Raise this up so you can see. Third floor. Yeah, the neighbors are very close, as you can see. So let's let's get back down and show because all the lights are on. But this is our humble home for the next two nights. Yeah. Like like what they did with this. It's, it's very clean in here and has everything you need. Mm-hmm. Got that nice detail. Yeah, nice decorations and detail. It's the sleeping area. And some storage area. Oh, somebody left some cash up here. This is, let's see, 2,000 Vietnamese dongs. That is less than a dollar. And I like how they have a full mirror. Hello. Oh. And you know, that door closed. Okay. And the door closes into the, or opens up into the kitchen. Comes with a fridge and a laundry machine. Wait, this, this doesn't uh, dry, yeah? Hopefully this is one of those all-in-one washer dryer machine. So we don't have to take our um, clothes to any laundry service. It's nice it comes with the uh, detergent, but this is this, the uh, kitchen area. And then the bathroom is pretty spacious. Don't mind my mess over there in the shower. It's very spacious. Like the tile art. And it is for $24 a night. We're going to be here for two more nights and then we'll be leaving Hanoi to start heading south. And down to Minbin. But for now, we're going to go do what we do very well Eat find some food. Eat some street food. Eat some street food. <laughs>
crab finger. So uh has uh got chop. So old meat with a jelly. And the owner the chef is grilling it right outside in front of the restaurant. And I got a vegetable pot. I've tasted the boom chow and I might have regretted my choice because this guy is good. But we'll see how the fries. What do you have there? I'm just throwing some uh, fresh. The morning board? Stuff. Cilantro? This one, that's cilantro. This one. Like mint. Stop, man. Yeah. I don't know the name of it, but it's pretty good. This is our last night in Hanoi. We are sitting at one of the restaurants at a corner street, just people watching. We are just one street down from the beer street. That's where you can buy beer for like 50 cents a glass. But it's just so much fun. <laughs> There's so much going on. It's almost nine o'clock and it's still bustling. There's a lot of noise. 
Oh, there go our fries. And Carl is actually having a glass of beer that that costs uh, ten thousand, which is less than fifty cents a glass. It's so much fun if people watch. There are so the traffic is crazy, the motorbikes and the cars, and so many people, uh, vendors coming by selling stuff. No, thank you. Good morning. Today's our last day in Hanoi. We did four days here in Hanoi, four nights. And we saw some really cool stuff. It's a pretty cool city, lots of action around. Uh, first day, we stayed over by, uh, it was called Sword Lake. And that was a cool spot. It was, the whole Sword Lake was nice because they have like a walking trails around it. Everybody's out exercising in, in the morning. And uh, I call it Sword Lake because uh, according to the mythology, uh, there was a turtle god that gave a magic sword to the emperor to help fight off the Chinese. And then there's, uh, it's just, a, it was just, a, it was a nice walk. It was yeah, a nice was walk. Giant soft shelled turtles in the lake. There's only supposedly like three left. And they're like six feet long turtles. And we saw uh, in the temple that there was, uh, they had preserved specimens of uh, two of the ones that died. Uh, pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, so there's this cool like, pagoda um, called Turtle Tower in the middle of the lake. And then we went to this temple, uh, which is on a little island at the lake too, that had a bridge going across. Mm -hmm. That was a nice, nice walk. Yeah. And then we moved um, to a different Airbnb and we've been here two nights. And this one is south. North, north of Sword Lake. Before north. we were south of Sword Lake. And we are right next to, we are down in the alley and the street. Like if we go outside, you hang a left and you're right on Beer Street, which is another uh, a tourist attraction. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I really like the Beer Street itself, but the street like around Beer Street is, is really cool. Like the, cause the, the alley, basically Beer Street is like an alley and it's, it's pretty fun. There's uh, the people, uh, there's like buskers uh, trying to get you to sit at their table. Each restaurant has like a couple of them. They're like, come on, sit at our table. Yeah, and some of them are literally grabbing you. They're, they're touching your shoulders <laughs> and like, come, come. And, and you're like, once, once you choose a spot and sit down, then like the pressure relaxes and, and you're fine. It's very loud and noisy, but in a good way. Um, they definitely have the nightlife around here and we saw we were people watching it's very good for people yeah watching. that see, was fun <laughs> you see these uh backpackers walking through with like carrying tons of bags oh and my yeah lots, lots of hostels around yeah and then you have the cyclos carrying tourists coming through and then all of a sudden you'll have a big car and tons of motorbikes and scooters going through and it's it's uh it's very interesting to watch and then you got the street sellers selling all sorts of you know little foods and fruits and they're selling cigarettes hairpins um, clothes shirts. yeah oh that one lady with the huge cart full of clothes it was like she had a whole clothing store on her cart and she was barely pushing it by and we saw a lot of tourists around here and um like Carl said, a lot of backpackers, a lot of young people, young travelers, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of hostels around here. And we looked up one of them, which that's close by, and it was going for eight dollars. Yeah, eight dollars. Eight dollars a night, so it's definitely I, affordable. I think you can do it. It's like twelve dollars if you want like a private room, which was a really tiny private room. Um, but then like eight dollars or less for like a shared bunk, you know, bunk room. So it's super affordable for, and then the food here is really affordable too, if you look for it. For me, I get a good feeling seeing a lot of these young people from, you know, different parts of the world, exploring a different country, a different culture. Um, I 
I like seeing that because I, I feel like the world is much a better place if we try to to learn and understand each other, you know, the, our differences and what makes us different and accept those differences. And we can't do that if we just, if we are just satisfied with where we are in our own little box. Um, yeah. It's good to learn it's good. something new about somebody else. We are ready to move on to our next destination, which will be Ninbin. Yeah, Ninbin. So we're going off to Ninbin later today. We're catching the train at 3.30. And so we're catching, yeah, 3.30. That's the same time we were at the train street the other day. So we're going to be on that same train. It's been great. So we're signing off from Hanoi and hopefully we'll see you in Ninbin. See you at the next stop. Check this out. Make sure you subscribe away.